Okay, hello everyone, Victor Momo from Excel Moments and in this video I want to show you how to use the regex functions to do a quick cleanup of your data. This is a problem we'll probably have solved using recursive lambdas, maybe an overkill or using the reduce function where you give it a list of characters and say replace them with nothing. But with regex, it's kind of easier. Right, if you look at these strings, they are words that you all know and maybe sentences you all know right redmond london excel is fun but they've been spiced for lack of a better word with special characters and you want to get rid of the spice okay so they are left with just the word themselves so basically you can use the regex replace right and what you're going to see here is that when you look at these strings if it's irregular alphabet right a to z a to z uppercase or lowercase you know then you know you're fine but if it's not then I want you to replace that with nothing, which basically will look through this. When it sees percentage, which is not A to Z, it will take it off. So red mon, and then ampersand, take it off, and then it becomes red mon. So let's try and write that. Very simple when you know how. Regex, replace. So let's pick this. Let's start with this first of all. And then the next thing is to put the pattern. You start with the double quotes. So let's list the characters we're expecting in square brackets this is how you do it so when you want to say a to z a b c to z you don't need to write a b c d that way you can just write a to z it understands that this is a list of you know uppercase characters a to z and you can also include lowercase characters a to z all right okay so you are saying this is your pattern but you are trying to say here in this case we have written it replace any of a to z's with nothing but that's not what you want what you want is anything that is not a to Z. So for you to do the negation, you come into the square brackets and you put a caret. So a caret here says it's not one of those characters you know that follows. So it's not a capital A to Z, it's not a lowercase A to Z. Okay. And then it says replace any of those characters, you know, with nothing. I would, you know, of course make this a little more succinct. Okay, close the bracket, you know, you do enter. Uh, it looks like you're fine, you know, relatively. But one thing you notice is you don't have to do A to Z, A to Z. Why? Because your regex replace has an argument that is case sensitivity. So what you could do is that you could use that and say, make it case insensitive. So if it's case insensitive, it means that these two, capital A to Z and lowercase A to Z, they are the same. So you basically can take one. All right. Okay. So let's say Redmond. So that's fine. And now our regex is shorter. Take it down. Everything looks very clean, like we've gotten rid of all these characters without having to list them by just saying if they are not A to Z, then get rid of them. But one thing I think I may like to have is to have my spaces back, right? So I don't want it to replace the spaces because I think I need it for readability. Okay, so what I can do is I can come in here and say yes, as in if it's not A to Z and if it's not also a space. So I put a space in there and say if it's not A to Z, if it's not also a space then I want you you know to replace it so let's see what this gives us All right okay so now we are able to keep our space so if you want to do it in one fell swoop instead of doing a4 you could do a4 to a10 right so that's everything at once you have a spill error get rid of these guys you know and you have it you know very quickly done it's regex very very simple yet effective so if you like this video hit the like button you can also subscribe no you can't you should okay please do subscribe okay <laughs> please do subscribe to the channel excel moments for now i'm out